Hello traders, welcome to the risk setting and lot size tutorial today here for the, the trade panel. And uh, in, in the video, I'm basically going to walk you through how the risk calculation works and how it allocates its risk and how lot sizing is calculated out inside the panel and the problems that you may come across in certain scenarios that you just need to be aware of. The risk settings are over here. All right, very simple. We've got two options. Okay, we can say we want to count percent and therefore we put a percentage in and we've got dollar risk okay so ultimately what the panel is looking for as an input from you is a dollar figure because as traders ultimately we want to know how much dollars we're going to be exposing at the end of the day if our stop loss gets hit we know exactly how much we're going to lose there's no point in putting lot sizes or guessing that kind of thing lot sizing is a function an equation of how much money you want to actually risk into the trade what stop loss size you want to spread it out over okay and also the relationship between the currency that your account is actually in the actual trading account are you is your funds in US dollars uh, British pounds euros etc versus the actual uh, I think it's the base currency so in this case we're on the Australian dollar CAD so it's going to be the relationship between the CAD and the US dollar okay that's going to be the final part of the calculation is through the relationship I think it's quoted as CAD slash US dollar at the end there it's because you're dealing with three currencies right you're dealing with the Australian dollar the Canadian dollar and you're actually dealing with the US dollar you've got to think sometimes when you're trading you're not just dealing with two currencies sometimes you're dealing with three and they all have to be factored in with your lot sizing calculation now you don't have to worry about that most of the time most of the time you're just going to put the money that you want in and you click buy or sell with your trade configuration and everything's taken care for you and don't believe into this thing where if you trade the daily chart your stop losses are too big you know therefore you need to risk more money uh -uh, that's incorrect like I said lot sizing is a function any dollar risk can be calculated into any stop loss size no questions about it you can risk ten dollars on a 100 pip stop or you could risk a thousand dollars on a 100 pip stop you could risk a thousand dollars on a 10 pip stop or one dollar on a 10 pip stop I mean we're just playing with numbers here it's just a formula so when you hear people say oh you know don't trade the daily chart you need a lot of money or stop losses are too big you're gonna to risk too much they're people that don't know what they're talking about in terms of how to actually properly calculate lot sizing in the market. Now the panel will take care of that for you. You can be assured the panel will risk whatever dollar size you set up into whatever trade configuration you set there. So whatever your stop loss size will be, it will only risk that amount. The panel is designed for worst case scenario, uh, whatever trade you set up, you'll know that what you're going to lose at the end of the day. And that's that dollar figure. And as I said, it's either dollar risk, you input it yourself, or you can do a percentage of your a capital there. Now, here's a problem that you may run into. Traders have actually experienced this problem, but they're misinterpreting the message. Because lot sizing is, a, is, the, is that formula that I told you about, it, it spits out at the end of it a very precise number on what your lot sizing should be to risk the money that you set. So I'm going to try and trigger that error now, and I'll explain it to you going to try and risk $50 into a 100 pip plus stop loss okay I'm adding 100 pips to my stop plus the range of the candle there so as soon as I click sell it should generate the error all right here's the error now read what it says and understand this very carefully this is a safety feature that's put into the panel it's a warning okay it basically states that the intended capital risk is $50 which is exactly what I said now after applying the minimum lot size allowed for this symbol minimum lot size allowed uh, the capital risk that has now increased to $57.84 now some traders are misinterpreting this as you must risk that it's not really the case what happens inside MT4 is it has a, a lot size rounding point all right so let's just say this lost lot size needed 0. Point uh, I don't know zero three five okay let's just say for example that is the number that the lot size cal calculation spat out to risk fifty dollars for your trade well MT4 has an internal lot size stepping point which means you can only risk uh, to the 0 0.01 decimal okay the lot size of 0 0.01 decimals 
All right, so there's a problem here. We want 0 0.035, but the MT4 is only going to accept a lot size that's rounded to 0 0.01 decimals. So we have two choices here. We can either put in 0 0.04 as our lot size, round it up, or round it down to 0 0.03. But because we've actually changed our lot size, that's actually going to affect at the amount of dollars that we're risking in the market. And this is what this error message is saying. After we adjust the lot size to the one that's going to be accepted by the broker, your new risk is going to be this. And this is put in because sometimes there could be some dramatic changes. We're only using $50 here, but let's just say you put 5,000 in. Okay, this is uh, an error that's generated off a percentage trigger. If we adjust our lot size here, okay, to the nearest acceptable ones, and the new dollar risk is more than 10% of what you expected, then you're going to get this error. Okay, so this is a safety feature for you. There's two things you can do. You can reconfigure your trade, or we understand that we can't risk $50 into this stop loss size without triggering the error, but we could say risk 55. Now, if I go ahead and sell that now, it will actually open because it would have internally rounded up that lot size to 0 0.3. 0 0.04 so to speak and that would have been within that 10% tolerance range of you know where that $57 was the market's only going to accept a lot size to a certain decimal which means sometimes your lot sizing is going to have to be rounded up or down to the nearest acceptable one and that's going to change your dollar risk and the panel's just letting you know you can't do this at this dollar amount because it's, it's going to go beyond the 10% that you normally would set you have to actually tell the panel okay, well, I'm willing to risk a little bit more or a little bit less on this trade so we get a lot size fill. That's the lot size part of it explained there. So if you get that error, you just have to adjust your dollar size a little bit. And I've done this basically because I want to make sure you understand how much you're risking. I don't, I don't want to just round up the lot size or round down the lot size and then all of a sudden you're getting you know, way different um, risk figures than what what you said in the panel. And you're going to email me back and say, Dale, what the hell? I told it to risk 100. It's risking 150, for example. Now, with currencies, this kind of thing is probably not going to be extreme and nothing to really worry about. But on some commodity pairs, on some brokers, that lot sizing step may be very dramatic. And that could cause a very dramatic shift in risk. And... Uh, that's why that error is put there. It's a safety barrier for you to protect you so you know that you're not going to be exposed to more risk than you should be. All right? So I've put it in there for your protection and that's basically, hopefully you've got an understanding there on how uh, it's working now. The other part of the risk calculation here is the broker tick value. All right? Now the tick value is what I was explaining to you before. It's the relationship between your account currency and the quote currency or the base currency, I can't remember which one. Uh, but anyway, those two currencies there, it's that tick value is the relationship between those two. All right, that's the final step with your lot size calculation. On some markets, the broker is known to report an incorrect tick value. All right, that, that mostly occurs on contract of difference markets, things like crude oil, the S&P, you know, stock indices and things like that. Um, some other commodities, uh, if you're into the you know, copper trading, you know, wheat, soybean and all that. Any of those commodities where it's not a currency pair and it's actually a contract of difference. Uh, time and time again, I've noticed that this value here is incorrect. All right, so what we actually have here on the panel is a check tick value button. And what this check tick value button is going to do it's actually going to open a dummy trade, okay, uh, down here to the size of one lot, and it's going to open the trade quickly, scan the trade parameters, and extract the numbers out of the trade, and then work out the tick value manually. All right, this can only be done on a demo account, obviously, because you're going to ex you're going to open a trade at one full lot, you're going to expose the spread, and that might be too much for some people. So. It only is available on a demo account, but I suggest you do it if you're not sure if the broker is returning the tick value, which can be found in this box here. Okay, if you want to make sure that number is correct, what you do is you just hit that tick value button, 
he would have seen it quickly open to trade and we get a number back spat here and we can compare the two and we can see 0.672 and 0.672 you're just pretty much looking for them to be pretty much the same and they are they're only uh, 0.004 of decimal places off but sometimes when you do this on commodities you will notice a big difference um, usually the tick the value reported back would just be one which is a little bit suspicious sometimes and then you do the the check tick value test and it will come back with some other completely different number then what you do is if the numbers are different then you click the override button and when you click the override button then basically the tick value in this box will be used in your risk calculation settings so you get the proper amount so what you're going to have to do is you have to go on a demo account check the tick value firstly make sure the broker is returning the right one if it is then you don't have to do anything else if it isn't then you have to keep this number and then when you go to place a real trade on your live account you just need to hit that override button there and uh, put that override tick value that value will be used there for your lot size calculation i know this is a bit of a pain in the ass but you know i don't know why but some brokers don't report the correct tick value I don't know if it's a software error or laziness on their behalf, but it does affect your risk calculation and you need to know that final value to get the proper risk set up for your trade. There have been cases where in the past, the old Alpari UK, you know, they've gone bust now, but once on their silver market, there was a very, very dramatic difference in tick value. And uh, if you would place any trades on that market, uh, you would have been wildly off. You would have exposed yourself to way way too much risk i think the broker tick value was one and the actual value was actually 50 so you'd be actually uh, i think you'd be risking 50 times the amount that you intended so if you risked you know a hundred dollars you would actually be exposing five thousand dollars <laughs> so sometimes this uh, can save your butt here mainly with currencies you'll be okay I haven't ever seen a problem with currency pairs at all, but with contract of differences, definitely just check them if you're not sure. Things like crude oil, gold, you know, your stock indices, anything like that that's not a currency pair, um, just just do yourself a favor. Quickly open a demo account, do the check tick value, just make sure your broker is reporting the right um, tick value there. As long as they're fairly close to one another, they don't have to be exact, just fairly close, um, that would be okay. All right, so that's the risk calculation part of the panel explained most of the time all you'll have to do is put your dollar risk in whether it's a percentage or a dollar risk set up your trade click buy or sell and it will do it for you and like i said if you get that error popping up uh, like this one all right you just have to read the message and understand what it's saying you can't risk exactly fifty dollars into this because if you round it up or round it down you're going to get fifty seven dollars so you'll have to either risk 50 something closer to $57 or you know something less maybe if we actually do 45 see 45 would work all right so I usually actually if you get that error it's most of the time if it keeps popping up it's you're probably using the wrong account for your broker you probably need something more like a micro account or a nano account that allows for more refined control of the lot sizing like 0.001 you know, I think there's even nano accounts out there that are like 0.0001 steps for lot sizing, which means you, know, you can refine it to um, to whatever you want. You'll probably never get that error. But I hope you understand those errors and the logic here behind the risk settings. Like I said, most of the time it's going to be very simple. But if you do catch those errors from time to time, now hopefully you know how to deal with them. So enjoy the use of the panel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.